website, I guess. This is the educational video for BrainGym.com. This one will be about, you guessed it, drum roll please, HTML coding, which is what websites are made out of, and in fact is what this website is made out of. So first we're going to start with opening my pen. So first we're going to start with a tag. A tag is like, and then let's say HTML. That right there is a tag. So th that's what those are called. And know, you got to know what they are. You got to know how to use them because they are everywhere in HTML. Everywhere. So, and, and that's the beginning tag. And ending tag looks like this. That's an ending tag. Oops. That's an ending tag. Um... So you use those a lot. Now, to begin to structure a website, first, you have to go start with this. On the computer, put one of those, and then do exclamation point, type all of this, then do doc type, And then, right here, right in lowercase, HTML. Kind of goes off the page, but yeah. And then you end with that. You don't need to close that at all because it's never closed. And then you do HTML, all in lowercase. Then you do body in lowercase. Then you have to put a space that goes down and then do backspace, body, close. And then you gotta do back, you gotta do that and then type HTML and then have it being a closing tag. And then body means everything that's inside is what makes up the website, it's what makes up the entire website so yeah but you're probably wondering uh, hey I know a little bit now but I don't know how to even get started you taught me some code but there's no like anything to I don't know how to activate or start so if you're on Windows if you're on Windows uh, make go to notepad which is if you go to the little windows thing that looks like that it's the search and then it's in the corner if you're on windows 7 not windows 8 and then just find notepad and then before you do anything go to file and then go to save as, and this is important. It'll have like a little star, and then put, a, and then it'll have a dot, and then it'll say txt. You want to cross out all of that. Remember, this is for Windows, and cross that out, and then just put whatever your name is, say Brain Gym. You have to have an underscore, and then Jim. And then you always, 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 if this is an HTML, do dot HTML, all in lowercase. Have to do that. And if you're on a Mac, this is what you do if you're on a Mac. If you are on a Mac, go to text edit, which is on every Mac. You just go to the little search thing in the top right corner. And then, let's go over this way, you need to 
go to next to the file and stuff there will be a thing that says format f o r m a t e or form format it'll just say format I'll format I don't I don't know uh and then you want to do make plain text and it always has to be make plain text make plain text and so after you do that you want you want to um this is for html5 i think yeah after you do that you want to also save as put whatever your name is and then do dot html most important thing besides doc type and stuff uh yeah and if you're on windows which i think you probably are you might be uh if you're on windows it, you need to save the file to your desktop. If you're on Windows or Mac, save it to the desktop. Or else this little calligraphy pen's gonna find you in your dreams. Um, yeah, so you need to save it to the desktop. Desk. Top. Desktop. And once you save it to desktop, it might have like a Google Chrome thing or something because it recognizes that it's HTML so when you double click it it'll open whatever you did in the web page and yeah so it'll just open what you did in the web page now don't be worried if you're like oh my gosh everyone's gonna see my website unfinished it's just it's not published you actually have to publish it and get a hoster there's some free ones but some cost money which is bad I guess so, once you save it to the desktop, um, if you're on Windows, you need to get Notepad and drag it to the desktop so you actually have Notepad on the desktop. So, and if you want to open it again, because it'll be hard to get the code again if you close Notepad, you just drag the thing that has like an Internet Explorer or whatever on it, that, that's your file that you saved on the desktop, drag it into you need to drag it into um drag it onto notepad and it'll then it'll say open with notepad or when, if you hover over it while you're still holding down the thing it'll say open with notepad but you just want to drag it to it and then let go it won't delete anything it'll just open it in notepad if you're on mac i advise not using text edit just go to this website go to sublime text dot com once you go to sublime text you gotta download that and then once you download it at the very bottom corner download the free version if in the very bottom corner it'll say like plain text you want to click that using your mouse once you click it it'll come with all this huge list of stuff and you want to scroll you want to go on that list and find the thing that says H T M L and it'll say it in all caps like that and that way you won't have to put an HTML extension you just have to write the code then you save it put a name to it and then save it to your desktop save it to your desktop and then make a f if if you're gonna have pictures on your website, you have to make a folder. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you know how to make a folder. Just make a folder and name it whatever you want, and then put all the stuff that has to do with your website in there. Just call it your website's name, and then just put it in that folder there. And once it's in that folder. You can put pictures in there so it, it'll know. The website will know where to get the pictures. Put the videos in there and know where to get the videos, like this one. Uh, my camera's almost dead, so I better hurry up with this. Um, so, yeah. I'll teach you about paragraphs and headings in the next one. Make sure to save it to desktop. Download Sublime Text. It's the ultimate thing. It'll be way harder without it. I promise you. Take it from a guy who 
has experienced this. So yeah, bye. Okay? And I hope you watch all the next videos.